Did you know that lettuce is the second most eaten vegetable, only second to the mighty potato? And on average, Americans eat 30 pounds of lettuce every year. What's your favorite vegetable? Comment below and let me know. Also, another interesting fact is that lettuce is actually a relative of sunflower. Both are in the Asteraceae family or the daisy family. So today is growing luscious lettuce. This is Little Roots Ranch with Christy. I messed that one up, but you get the point. I'm going to give you the lettuce lowdown. Put my card away. So there are actually hundreds of types of lettuces and it's a cold hardy crop which means you can plant it before your frost and a light frost isn't going to do any damage to it. However, it's not the biggest, the biggest fan of high heat. So in the summertime, a lot of people struggle with what's called bolting or going to seed. And that's where your small lettuce plant all of a sudden becomes an Amazon <laughs> and something grows up 200 feet. No, I'm kidding. Uh, several feet and starts producing flowers. That will alter the taste of your lettuce, but if you're like me and that happens, then you can save the seed and have more plants. But anyway, so you want to try and avoid that, especially if you live in a warmer area. Um, a lot of people grow under shade cloth or with partial shade, something, anything you can do to keep your lettuce cooler or depending on where you're at, you just may not be able to grow it in the hottest time. Maybe it's more of a spring and fall item for you. And I guess probably winter if it's that warm. <laughs> Also, another thing to note, and in general, we're talking about dates to maturity, but really you're going to want to consult your seed packet because that's going to be specific to the exact plant that you have or seed or whatnot. But on average, for lettuce, the date to maturity is 45 to 55 days. Uh, your romaine is going to run you 75 to 85 days, and your crisp head is going to be like 70 to 80 there are four different types of lettuce. I know some people may not realize that there's more to life than iceberg, but there totally is. So there's solid head or crisp head, and that is your iceberg. There's also loose head or bib and leaf lettuce, as well as romaine. Your uh, loose head or your leaf lettuce is gonna be your easiest to grow. If you're talking about, oops, if you're talking about nutritional value or nutrition density, then your leaf lettuce is going to be the highest, followed by a romaine, and dragging up the rear is going to be your iceberg. Next, we're gonna talk about planting. I can never tell when it shows up there or whatever. So as I mentioned earlier, you want to plant for your first crop, depending of course on your climate, but on average when the ground is workable. So usually about two to four weeks before, closer to two before your last frost date. I know this year the a lot of places it frosted and even snowed in May, which was crazy, but um, know your area and always know you can plant again if you plant too early or you can start inside. When I'm starting inside, I use extra perlite in my potting soil or, or seed block mix and I find that yields a better result. Um, you're going to want to plant the seed. Again, you always want to uh, consult your seed packet because there can be so many variables, but a lot of what I'm giving is just general. And so, but anyways, you're going to want to plant a quarter of an inch deep and lettuce seeds can actually keep for several years. Um, I know the seed packets always say like one or two years, but I've, I've used seed not for growing on the farm, but like for like the cottage garden or whatnot. And that was even like three, four years old. Germination usually goes down, but with lettuce, I haven't actually really noticed it so much. Um, but anyways, so after you've seeded, whether it's indoors, um, under light, and which you want to keep the light close so you, the seedlings don't get leggy, or outside, you're going to see germination in about 7 to 14 days. That lettuce is going to like to germinate between 40 and 60 degrees. 
it's if you're getting warmer than that or if it's like the middle of summer you're really going to see a decrease in germination and depending on how hot it is you may not see germination at all those seedlings are going to like moderate watering you want to sure and make sure and keep them moist but you don't want to drown them as the plants get larger they actually have a shallow root system and so you have to be careful with that um for spacing i like to space Again, it's gonna vary because some of the lettuces you can get that are like the size of a small car with some of the crisp heads. But <laughs> on average, about six inch spacing. Um, I find that I tend to do a higher density. Obviously you can do whatever fits you. Um, <laughs> you know, when I first started, I planted way higher density and I just wanted everything to grow and I realized it was stunted. But on average, um, especially for like loose leaf, I usually do a six inch spacing. Um, for square foot gardening, I believe it's four, four plants in a square or whatever. Um, lettuce is a pretty heavy feeder and by heavy feeder, it means, means that it takes a lot of nutrients out of the soil, but you want to be careful not to give it too much nitrogen. Um, cause that, that'll negatively affect the taste of the lettuce. Personally, I just use a lot of compost and by a lot, I mean all, <laughs> um, some that I make myself and then also some that I bring in and that's yielded me fabulous product. So that's worked out really well. Um, and I mentioned those shallow root systems. Lettuce does not like competing with weeds. So that, that's something to keep in mind. Next, we're going to talk about pests. So there are, um, for lettuce and basically any, any yummy, delicious crop, you're going to have your four-legged pests. And those include your dogs um, that more or less just destroy, and then also your deer and rabbits that will eat your garden. And so the best defense for that is, is a fence. I'm sure that's nothing that you haven't heard of. That'll really help and make a difference. Um, there's also two-legged pests known as children. Um, who love to sneak in and eat the yummy, fresh lettuce. Um, for them, you need an electrical fence. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> um, I like to plant a separate garden that they can pick from. Um, and obviously, I love when they enjoy fresh vegetables. <laughs> uh, slugs are another thing you're going to contend with. I know everybody has the dreaded slugs. I'm not a fan of sluggo. Um, I don't use that personally. I know a lot of people do. Um, there are a couple different options, more of a natural way to go about that. And so one of them is a beer trap for slugs. I also don't use this method, but I heard that it works really well where you like sink a cup full of beer and the slugs can't resist the yeasty smell and then drown drunk or drunk drown or however that works. Another option, and this is my favorite, is morning picking. Um, as early as you can, which I'm an early bird, I head outside and collect tons of slugs. Um, the, I also uh, pay my children <laughs> to collect slugs and they seem to like it and it works out well for me. Um, I was gonna add with the slug beer trap thing, I have heard that it works the best if you do it early, like early April or I guess depends when you're in the Pacific Northwest, April, depends on when, you know, this, you get baby slugs. And so if you can get a whole lot of them when they're small, then that helps throughout the season. Again, I haven't tried that, but I've heard a lot of testimony to that. Um, and then another option to consider are ducks. Ducks love slugs. Um, that could be a whole nother video, but again, something to keep in mind. People say my chickens eat slugs and apparently they're just vicious because a lot of other people say their chickens won't touch slugs. Um, my sweet girls are slug loving machines. <laughs> um, another pest for lettuce is aphids. Uh, there are a bunch of them, but aphids seem to be the top thing that I hear complaints about. And there's a couple different ways to deal with that. The funnest one is to plant onions and chives, um, in, in between your rows or along or in, you know, if you're growing containers or whatever to, to help deter, the smell will deter the slugs. And so that one's fun. There's also like neem oil or um, agricultural or horticultural soap, sorry. Um, and then another one is to plant, uh, or not to plant, but to use predatory insects. So like ladybugs, 
and also they're cute. But ladybugs love feasting on aphids, so that's a really good option if you're looking to go do the natural route. Um, and I should do a video on that as well. The last thing we're going to talk about, and my personal favorite, is harvest, because that's that's what we do all this for, right? Nothing tastes better than a nice salad in the spring, especially in the spring, but summer anytime. And you just go outside and pick those fresh, delicious lettuce leaves or lettuce heads or whatever and make a tasty salad on a hot day. It's just great. And it tastes better than anything you can do store-bought. Um, but so talking about harvesting, the thing about lettuce is that you can actually harvest at any time. Granted, you're gonna trade a lower yield for an higher hill for 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 a higher yield, um, but it's something that you can definitely do. Um, if you're growing intensely like I do, um, and you're finding that your lettuce is getting too crowded, or maybe you misjudged the spacing or whatnot, you can always harvest those outer leaves um, to make a little bit more room for the plant and have yourself a tasty little snack. Younger leaves are always going to taste better than older leaves. Um, even if your lettuce doesn't bolt and you just let it sit around, it is going to lose that flavor. So that's something to keep your eye on. For loose leaf lettuce, you're going to harvest the outer side, the outside, so that the middle can grow. You can also just cut the whole thing. But if you're trying, it depends if you're doing a harvest or just picking some for like a little salad at a small garden or something like that. For butterhead, you're going to cut the outer leaves, like same, or you can just cut the whole thing about an inch off the ground and you'll get what's called cut and come again, meaning that it'll regrow. Sometimes you can also get a third, but each grow, regrowth, I should say, is not going to be as good as the first. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, for crisp head, you're going to pick when the center is hard firm, whatever. So that's, that's pretty easy. When you harvest, you're going to want to harvest in the morning before morning ish. It doesn't have to be like 2 AM, but before the sun really beats down on it. Um, and it still has that morning dew and, and stuff like that. And then after you've harvested, if you haven't eaten it all, which is highly advised, <laughs> um, you can store it in your fridge for 10 days, um, in a plastic bag or, or special bag, whatever and it'll keep up to 10 days. So uh, to recap, lettuce is amazing <laughs> and it's pretty easy to grow. You can grow it in the field, you could grow it in your garden, you can grow it in containers. A lot of people grow them indoors or in windowsills. Um, you have to make sure you get enough light for that, but it's there's a lot of options and it's pretty easy to grow. It's gonna give you a hard time in the heat of summer. Um, yeah, that, that's just, you know, you're going to struggle with bolting with that and your radishes and cilantro and all those things that get real fussy when it gets hot. Um, but yeah, so this is Little Roots Ranch and I am Christy. And if you like this video or you think it's helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd love it if you subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to tell me your favorite lettuce brand or lettuce type or um, any cool lettuce recipes, go ahead and drop them below in the comments. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.